um, you know, a question on control, uh, plans and the illusion of control. Well, everything is everything is orchestrated, whether you perceive yourself to be an individual or not, um, dependent on how identified one is with the individual and how much spiritual work has done. As Hawkins would refer, it's levels of consciousness. So if I really, really believe I'm I'm an individual with, and these are my thoughts and this is my body and I can control things, then I have a certain level of consciousness. That level of consciousness is is um, also um, aligned with, uh, with, with a field of orchestration, you know, uh, the lower levels of consciousness are because there's more belief systems and more of the belief in duality. They often have greater levels of fear and fear-based limited ideas or guilt or shame. And so the way one tries to control and what one is trying to control, get, for example, getting away from the shame and the feelings or whatever it is, um, tend to be um, in correlation to how far away one is in duality and away from the infinite light. So it tends to, one tends to, one is more deeply in the, the illusion of separation. So one is, you know, if once one was to just um, stand still, all the, all the feelings of fear, repressed fear, shame and guilt would need, so the, the ego needs to control to escape that. So I, I don't want to sit down and, and be in silence for the whole day. Um, uh, that fear and that uncomfortable guilt is going to come up. So I'd much rather go out and buy some donuts. Uh, what's what's on Netflix? And uh, surely there's something to do to distract myself. So I would be up with control mechanisms, which I did with addictions to get relief. I feel horrible, but if I eat a bag of donuts, you know, at least I'll feel happy for a few minutes, and then I can probably binge watch a TV series later on. And that will make me feel good for a while until it stops uh, working. And then I'll figure out something else to to try and take away the 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 the, the pain that I don't want to feel within. So uh, so you know the ego is very uh, one one becomes one one figures out that doesn't really work the control and being in the head trying to control everything to be happy, and that you know the illusion that if I can control things or get something out there that this magical thing or this control or this special idea or person uh, can fulfill one eternally, you know, it, it, of course it, it breaks down because nothing out there can. Um, so eventually, um, you know, the pain comes and one is, um, one lets go. So one is gradually going up the levels of consciousness. The more you let go of the idea of control, that you are in control, you are a separate thing. And even to control anything is a good idea. Um, you know, because it's tying you down to a low level of consciousness. So you're you're operating more on fear and the belief in limitation. So, which is, I'm not saying it's good or bad. It's just um, you're being cut off from, um, you're being cut off from higher fields of light and orchestration uh, or divine orchestration or the miraculous, which come the more you let go of the idea that you're in control and allow something a more infinite unfolding to orchestrate life rather than the idea that control will bring a happier life. So you're, you're letting go and trusting in divine, in divine orchestration. And then you find that's usually a far better and a happier existence than what the ego could think for your day. So, um, so, I mean, for me, practically, it's like, um, my experience is the more I let go of the idea that my ego can't control anything or even being in my head is useful. Uh, I, I sort of now see it that the more I'm in my thoughts, the more I'm actually going to have a, a bad day. And the more I'm not in thoughts and just being in that infinite silence, the more the day I'll let the infinite silence orchestrate the day. It'll be effortless, timeless, uh, and and more sublime than anything my thinking could could do, and it will you know and it will bring that healing and that love and 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 everything on a divine level. So I've my, and my experience, of course, has been that multiple times. The more I'm in those states, the more joyful and more miraculous the day is, and the more I'm in the the dual, dualistic, heavy head thinking, fear state, 
yeah, the more awful the day is. So it's no, there's no, um, in you know, um, if I'm in the thinking fear, then um, there's a lot of incentive to to do the work to let that go, and so to return to the states of of grace.